Hello dear friends, in this video I will tell you about the classic beauty of the 1960s, Raquel Welch, watch to the end to see how she looked at the very dawn of her career. Raquel Welch, born Jo Raquel Tejada in 1940 is an American actress and sex symbol who took the worldwide media by storm after the 1966 release of a movie poster featuring her natural assets in a wild and woolly prehistoric bikini. She was the oldest of three children of Armin C. Tejada, a Bolivian structural engineer of Castilian origins, and Josephine Sarah, Paul Tejada, a statistical clerk at an aircraft factory who was of English and Scottish descent. Welch graduated with honors from high school in 1958, seeking an acting career. Welch entered San Diego State College on a theater arts scholarship, and the following year she married her high school sweetheart, James Welch. She played several parts in local theater productions. In 1959, she played the title role in the Ramona Pageant, a yearly outdoor play at Hemet, California which is based on the novel Ramona by Helen Hunt Jackson and Bob Bilo. She first won attention for her role in Fantastic Voyage, 1966, after which she won a contract with 20th Century Fox. They lent her contract to the British studio Hammer Film Productions, for whom she made 1 million years BC, 1966. See although she had only three lines of dialogue in the film, Images of her in the doe skin bikini became best-selling posters that turned her into an international sex symbol through her portrayal of strong female characters, which helped in her breaking the mold of the traditional sex symbol. Welch developed a unique film persona that made her an icon of the 1960s and 1970s. Her rise to stardom in the mid-1960s was partly credited with ending Hollywood's vigorous promotion of the blonde bombshell. She won a Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture Actress in a Musical or Comedy in 1974 for her performance in The Three Musketeers. In 1995, Welch was chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history. Playboy ranked Welch no. Three on their 100 sexiest stars of the 20th century list. In 2011, Men's Health ranked her no. Two in its hottest women of all time list. Welch helped transform America's feminine ideal into its current state. Her beautiful looks and eroticism made her the definitive 1960s and 1970s sex icon rather than the blonde bombshell of the late 1950s as typified by Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield, and others. Welch became a star in the mid-1960s and was exotic, brunette, and smolderingly sexual. Her countless publicity photos helped to popularize her image, dress style, and 1960s and 1970s fashion trends. Welch and other actresses also made big hair popular. Rackle Welch posed for Playboy in 1979 but she never did a fully nude shoot. Hugh Heffer later wrote, Raquel Welch, one of the last of the classic sex symbols, came from the era when you could be considered the sexiest woman in the world without taking your clothes off. She declined to do complete nudity, and I yielded gracefully. The pictures prove her point. Welch has refused to take all her clothes off on screen or pose naked throughout her career spanning five decades, saying this was the way she was brought up. While her image in the 1960s was that of a torrid sex temptress, Welch's private life was quite different. She once famously said, what I do on the screen is not to be equated with what I do in my private life. Privately, I am understated and dislike any hoopla. She also admitted, I was not brought up to be a sex symbol, nor is it in my nature to be one. The fact that I became one is probably the loveliest, most glamorous and fortunate misunderstanding. Welch was born as Joe Raquel Tejada on September 5, 1940, in Chicago, Illinois. She is the first child of Armando Carlos Tejada Urquizo and Josephine Sarah Hall. Her father, Armando Tejada, was an aeronautical engineer from La Paz, Bolivia, son of Agustin Tejada and Raquel Urquizo. In 2010 while being interviewed on the talk show Tavis Smiley, Welch stated, My father came from a country called Bolivia. He was of Spanish descent. Her cousin, Bolivian politician Lydia Geller Tejada, became the first female president of Bolivia and the second female non-royal head of state in the Americas. Welch was named after her paternal grandmother. Her mother, Josephine Hall, was the daughter of architect Emery Stanford Hall and his wife Clara Louise Adams. She was of English ancestry. Welch has a younger brother, James Jim Tejada, and had a younger sister, Gal Tejada. The family moved from Illinois to San Diego, California, when Welch was two years old. Welch attended the Pacific Beach Presbyterian Church every Sunday with her mother. As a young girl, Welch had the desire to be a performer and entertainer. She began studying ballet at age seven, 
But after 10 years of study, she left the art at 17 when her instructor told her she did not have the right body type for professional ballet companies. At age 14, she won beauty titles as Miss Photogenic and Miss Contour. While attending La Jolla High School, she won the title of Miss La Jolla and the title of Miss San Diego, the fairest of the fair, at the San Diego County Fair. This long line of beauty contests eventually led to the state title of Maid of California. Her parents divorced when she finished her school years. Welch graduated with honors from high school in 1958, seeking an acting career. Welch entered San Diego State College on a theater art scholarship, and the following year she married her high school sweetheart, James Welch. She won several parts in local theater productions. In 1959, she played the title role in the Ramona Pageant, a yearly outdoor play at Hemet. California, which is based on the novel Ramona by Helen Hunt Jackson. She got a job as a weather forecaster at KFMB, a local San Diego television station. Because her family life and television duties were so demanding, she decided to give up her drama classes. After her separation from James Welch, she moved with her two children to Dallas, where she made a precarious living as a model for Neiman Marcus and as a cocktail waitress. Thank you for watching. Put like so that I would look for exclusive photos further, as well as other interesting videos you can watch on my channel.